has come across in the past of attacking people. So, so definitely uh, use caution. Tucked inside the federal courthouse in Fargo, there's a well-kept secret. Second person we're going to look for has uh, ties to biker gang in town here. A team that takes a boots-on-the-ground approach. We go prepared for the worst. Got a warrant for assault on a police officer. To track down the worst of the worst. Here's a photo of the guy. When it comes to so, Cass County criminals. And again, he's uh, had uh, weapons in the past. You never know what somebody's thinking on the other side of the door. It's like uh, he's going to be at work. Cass County Deputy Steve Sprecher is a member of the High Plains Fugitive Task Force. He's going to be over there. Made up of That's select local law enforcement and members of the U.S. Marshal Service. Everybody copy 3300 block. We're looking for those who are wanted for violent crimes or drug offenses that involve the selling of, of methamphetamine or heroin or other uh, serious drugs, homicides, arsons, burglaries, uh, all of the things that qualify as a national uh, violent crime. Together, they go door to door, day and night, to lock up men and women. They have to be good every day, but we only have to be lucky once. Who work to evade law enforcement. And Today is our day. Some of the, the arrests that we've made over the last four and a half years have occurred in places like Cambodia, Jamaica, uh, Canada. Right now, the task force has at least 100 high-risk warrants in the system. That's just a small fraction of more than 6,500 active warrants in our community. Yeah, that's one thing that never seems to go down is the number of warrants we have. While they're out, so are Cass County deputies. So anytime you go on a warrant, it could be dangerous. Working daily to serve close to 3,600. Hello? Coming from the sheriff's office. Anyone here? When the phone calls, don't work. The number you dialed is not a working number. We have to go find them. We have to go hunt them. And the hunt... It's a lot of cat and mouse game. ...is what these guys live for. We found people, you know, in clothes baskets and in closets. And I mean, people get pretty creative in how they try to evade us. And you look in the closet and and you see the clothes move. And uh, one gal in a suitcase, they had zipped her into a suitcase. Fargo police also have a substantial list. Right now we have uh, 2,777. At times there can be 100 warrants issued a week. Although officers um, aren't specifically so out surprising. looking for these names, they often pop up during traffic stops. Almost in instantaneously the, uh, the information comes back whether or not there's a hit. We're gonna roll up. Tonight. While their dangerous days get long and the warrant lists... You got a warrant for uh, burglary, Dave, okay? ...don't seem to dwindle. Uh, McLaughlin, there's a conspiracy to commit yeah, burglary. Everybody. These teams know each search brings more safety. We're trying to make a difference. One step forward and sometimes two steps back. Most of these people are one step ahead of a warrant, so it's a matter of trying to find their new addresses all the time. Always going in with a plan, setting up a perimeter, and often making an arrest. Right down that way. But most importantly, having each other's backs. Taking people off the street that need to be taken off the street. Forming the unbreakable backbone of trained law enforcement who take criminals into custody. We're working for the victim to help them get closure. All risking their lives to better the lives of people living in Cass County. You go to work every day with the right attitude. Kay Cooley. The attitude of you're going to be going home that night. WDAY 6 News.